running out of daylight. And I was hoping I'd get in there and get unloaded. Ice Road Truckers is one of the few reality TV shows that got viewers shivering in their seats as cast members fight it all on the seasonal routes crossing frozen lakes and rivers in the remote Arctic territories of Canada and Alaska. The American TV show premiered in 2007 and ended just after 10 years spanning over 138 episodes. The show had an average of 3 million views per episode, becoming the network's most watched show in its 12-year history. Ice Road Truckers isn't just a hit in the United States, it was also featured on the British network Channel 5. All thanks to the hard work of the cast members, which is why we bring to you what really happened to Alex Debregorski. Let's get into it. I am racing against the melt. I'm racing against the temperature. Ice Road Truckers was indeed one of the most sought after shows during its heyday, but it wasn't due to the show producers or anything, but the cast members who were grazing through those chilly trucking journeys with vigor. Truck driving is undoubtedly a dangerous profession, even in the best conditions. A study from the IIHS shows that over 4,000 truck fatalities were recorded in 2020, which is an increase of 28% from the survey carried out in 2009. The reasons for this could be due to several reasons like long driving hours and hazardous weather conditions. Speaking of long driving hours and hazardous weather conditions, Ice Road Truckers cast members defy all odds, especially Alex Debregorski, who is the only cast member to have appeared in all 11 seasons of the show. He's a self-proclaimed family man with 11 children and 14 grandchildren and has been married for over 39 years. So before we get into what really happened to Alex, let's take it back a little to know about his background. Alex, born Alex Debregorski, was born in August 1953 in Berwyn, Alberta, to his Polish parents, Irene and Stanley Debregorski. Before emigrating to Alberta, Stanley spent 12 years in the British military, where he trained as a paratrooper known as the Red Berets, 101 Polish Parachute Brigade who played a vital role in World War II. When he was a paratrooper, he participated in Operation Market Garden and jumped into Holland on the second wave. Alex is a long-term resident of Yellowknife in Canada's Northwest Territories, which explains his prowess on the show, and has been married to his wife, Louise, since 1972. In 2006, a film crew from the History Channel went to the Northwest Territories in search of charismatic personnel for the new reality show, Ice Road Truckers. They were repeatedly told, you must meet Alex Debregorski. The concept of the reality show was to portray the lives of extraordinary men and women as they risked their lives transporting essential supplies over frozen waters that double as roads in winter. Ice Road Truckers eventually became History Channel's most watched reality show. Alex, the show's main cast, has a unique personality which explains why he's loved and respected by all. In the fall of 2010, Alex's first book was published, King of the Road, Tales from a Legendary Ice Road Trucker. The book is a biographical collage of short stories, anecdotes, and life history from an early age. Alex is the real deal, on and off the show, but he will say, I'm more complicated than that. Being a family man, Alex has a lot of responsibilities, but that doesn't stop him from having fun on camera, where he frequently talks about his beliefs. In 2014, Alex had an interview with a YouTube channel and he was asked a series of questions. One of the questions was, why driving at night is the easiest time on ice roads? In response, Alex stated, generally, it's the contrast between light and shadow and the snow banks, and you see where you are on the road. In northern Alaska, they tend to have delineators. They have, you know, basically a stick on each side of the road with a reflector on it, which is interesting because one side is a yellow reflector. The other side is a white reflector. So if we go into a ditch and the wrong reflector passes you on the passenger or driver's side, you you know you got into a snowbank. Even as a layman, thinking a lot about the general conditions one must experience while traversing a desolate and snow blanketed landscape, this actually makes sense. In the blinding light of day, the reflection upon the snow probably obscures many obstacles. However, this absence of light is probably a boon at night because suddenly everything is cast in a potent contrast. To get a better idea of this, just think of any time you may have driven on roads surrounded by snow at night. The black 
stack of asphalt sticks out quite prominently against the white of snow. Truck driving at night is one of the safest times for truckers, though that probably doesn't account for the extreme circumstances and environment in ice road truckers. According to Fry Goldberg LLC, 65% of truck-related fatalities occur between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., while the safest time for truckers is actually the three hours following midnight. This can be due mainly to traffic and general congestion, because an accident is far less likely to happen if there isn't anybody else on the road. This is probably even more pronounced on remote ice-covered roads and bodies of water, because there probably isn't a lot of people driving around at night above the 60th parallel. Although over the 10 years tenure of ice road truckers, none of the truckers was involved in accidents, but reliable sources show that several injuries and two fatalities occurred offset, with one fan attempting the profession and meeting with tragic results and a star of the show, Daryl Ward, who unfortunately crashed his small plane. Still, if one ever attempts to engage in the same profession as those on ice road truckers, it sounds like driving at night is the safest bet. In 1972, Alex got married to his partner, Louise, while still in college. The couple has welcomed 11 children in total, with grandchildren and are apparently still happily wedded after decades of marriage. The couple both have 14 grandchildren, as stated earlier, but Alex made it clear that he and his wife are expecting 90 grandchildren. We have 14 grandchildren already, and everybody keeps busy working on more, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get there. The bottom line is life is short, so I wonder what are we doing all this for? I figure it's children, even though I don't particularly like children because they're the reason I'm broke. Several years back, Alex had major health issues which prompted him to change his lifestyle to a healthier way of living. A healthy diet and natural supplements play a vital part in his day-to-day -day life. Consequently, he has made appearances at health food stores promoting healthy eating. This is a wake-up call for everyone who eats unhealthy junk food. The outcomes could be devastating. A wise man once said, the best investment you can make is to invest in yourself. This could be in the form of education, finance, and even food. Alex has also taken full advantage of his position as a television personality to improve the public perception of the trucking industry and to connect with his fans through Twitter and Facebook. During shoots, you can always find long queues waiting for an autograph or picture. Being a people person, Alex never gets tired and will make sure to stay until he signs for everyone. In 2019, Alex lost one of his children, Andrew, in a fire incident that occurred in his yellow knife house. Andrew, who has been diagnosed with ASL, a condition that made him unable to walk or sleep since 2017, couldn't make it out of the fire incident on his own. Despite Andrew's condition, he could speak with the aid of a machine connected as a cursor to his head. In the midst of the devastating event, Andrew warned his wife to save their kids first. Once outside of the house and with their children safe, his wife informed authorities Andrew was still inside the building. However, it was too late for him to be saved, and he was declared dead after being transported to Stanton Territorial Hospital. After the terrible incident, the community raised funds to help Andrew's family with a sum of $26,000 in gifts. Alex, who was moved to tears by the act of the community, thanked them and also gave a short talk about his son's death. We are in this together, and a lot of people understand better than I do. They've suffered this numerous times. As of 2022, Alex Debregorski has an estimated net worth of $800,000, with a majority of the money coming from his role as the main cast on the Ice Road Truckers and from his book, King of the Road, True Tales from a Legendary Ice Road Trucker. With the abrupt end of Ice Road Truckers in 2017, would you like the show to return back to the screen with the likes of Alex Debregorski?